government gazetted um, the, the draft constitution. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, before the end of the year, we will have election. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. So what is needed right now is political consciousness. What is needed right now is to make sure that um, the draft constitution is made as a law. Because no matter how beautiful it is, it is still not the law. And it has to go through a process. Just to give you um, the, the genetics of how it goes through is um, what the law requires is at first the National Assembly have to enact, they will have to make, make an act mm -hmm. of National Assembly for, for, for um, perhaps adoption of a new constitution. And that is what set the commission. The commission should be chaired by the Chief Justice or the Chief Justice can appoint a Superior Court judge to chair it. So that is done. They have already made uh, you know, consultation and now they have finally made the draft. And the draft is now given to the President. Now it is under the responsibility of the President to make sure that once the draft is given to him, for him to gasset it. And the gasseting has to be in two ways. First, um, when, when, so ever you give in the draft condition, you have to gasset it within three months. Now the first gasset can be any day within the three months, but the second gasset also should fall within the three months. Now, if it's gasseted, the first gasset, before the second gasset, you have to refer it to the National Assembly for final gasset. Now, if that is done, uh, where the complicating issues happen is from the National Assembly. Because the National Assembly is given the opportunity to look at all the section by section, to look whether it you know, favors the Gambia or they will give their opinions on whatsoever they feel is right or wrong. And under that, they will debate and vote. Now, the voting which is most sensible is that 75% of the members of the National Assembly should vote for yes. If, is the, uh, if the draft constitution is to become a law. And it does not stop that. So if the National Assembly, 75% of them, fail to vote, that's the end of the draft constitution. So no basically, all the hard work that we have been doing with the Constitutional Review Commission will go to it when they. Again. Exactly. Oh, interesting. I've so, never. And, and if, if they accepted it, and um, like right now, 40. 44 percent of the na 44 people of the na members of the national assembly should vote for yes, and if that happened, then the, the speaker will write to the independent electoral commission chairman mm -hmm. okay. to hold an election. Now that election also, the law is saying um, 75 percent of the registered voters should vote. Now that is where is where the complication happen, because you see in Gambia people have what you call political apathy where people are no longer interested in the political affairs of the state. In so long as they are not interested, most of the people will not vote. Mm -hmm. And they're going to calculate on the people that have voted in for the election. So if 75% of the governments fail to vote, it means still the draft position is not going to be the law. So My question is, Omar, because I'm really interested. I'm not a constitutional expert like you are. But my question is, um, Considering the fact that um, if they do the first gazette, which is um, they're going to take it to the National Assembly, am I right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the they first gazette, uh, the gazette didn't have to be done from the National Pre Press. Press, Press. okay, yeah. And, and the widely read newspapers. For The reason for that is that uh, whensoever the government wants to make laws, they did not want to impose it to the people. people. So they give opportunity to the people to criticize, give their opinions. Can right they make opinion. changes now? Like if they give their opinions that they are not are certainly satisfied with certain things in the constitution can they still go ahead and change it they can they can the, the president have certain powers to do so but equally the national assembly do have the power to do so so the president will listen to the people if the people say that uh, they are not satisfied with certain things and he agrees with them he can change it he can change it but if the president changes, the national assembly can also change it to bring the question that was in existence yes. before oh. so the hands of the president is tied but he is giving discretion to do whatsoever he wants in his office. But it's not at the office of the National Assembly. When it comes to the National Assembly, it is now on their discretion to look at everything, vote into it based on their concern and the wish of their representative. Then the, biggest, the bigger effort continues to the Independent Electoral Commission, where in every 175% of the government should vote. So that is what is making it more complicated. I think right now what we need is um, voter sensitization and IEC to be on close.
This is the right part pour nga xamantene dinañ mëna défaral nit ñi sen carte tay ñu mu ngi koy dégg nga xamne time su jotté ñepp dinañ mëna wa so li mbay be mbir mi jégué ci ñen bu gën nit ñi dem sanni té amuñ carte yu ñuy sanni ko loolu xané ko lo xamantene doy wa wa normally you you sometimes you have people to say tell a friend to tell a friend so for the self concern for all purpose and intent it is going to make gambia the place that you want is going to reunite the governments but is going to going to create an atmosphere of good governance mm -hmm. but equally it is going to create a platform for everybody mm -hmm. so this is a chance that we have if you fail the country will fail because in 1997 council have lot of loopholes mm -hmm. even though it's a good law but there are many things that are not expressly in the 1997 council and for best practice if you look at rights of women's children right fundamental human right office of the president integrity of leadership um how resources have been announced mm -hmm. and whether a person can just you know declare himself as a candidate all those things are procedures that how about if the president pass away all those things we never address mm -hmm. the president like for instance if, if, if the president in the 1997 concern and election is held and the president passes away before the announcement of result how do we settle that is not expressly stated in the 1997 concern so we need to forge ahead but we need to send there ourselves to adopt it this is the best for us to be honest um if you look at it on politics or national interest public interest or any form of any form of interest when it comes to right everything is well clearly spelled out and i know it's true that there are many people that we criticize just like the office of the president the supporters of the president but this is national development and this is um, building a nation in the process of building a nation it is not an easy task mm -hmm. but once have to avert his mind of legacy but you laugh here because yes. you're talking of the women's act for all purpose um president jame he extremely did well when it comes to women empowerment mm -hmm. in fact there is no government in the government that have did the same thing and i can equally stand there is no president in the africa that have done the same thing so but also have this as an opportunity mm -hmm. yeah. to, to because when leadership when things are tough that's the time to prove yourself so things are not tough but things are given to baro to execute in good faith and that's where political will comes and i know buba knows much about that the political will yeah man for me the only problem i have is is the government kind of mess up with the constitution because uh we we've condemned yajab in 2016 december for trying to nullify our sort and trying to subvert the will of the people So if Baro administration is still under the constitution, the will of the people is discriminating them. What are they talking about? And in fact, the this draft constitution has made it very clear that even if in a presidential election the resource is being announced by the Independent Electoral Commission, it has to be taken to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has to look at every decision and then give an order. So within ten days again, if whosoever is not happy, you file a petition for review. So if that happened in 2016 then a problem will not happen in the Gambia. And also talking about the referendum I think uh, there's sort of that, that there's a downturn work to be done. Yeah, because the uh, the 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 NCCA should should be at work because uh, we have seen the CRC the Constitutional Review Commission to their credit they have done at least an extensive consultation with the people although they are not place in this country to who were not which although they have come to the NCC but I mean that's fine. Uh, NCC is will do the same thing in creating awareness about the draft constitution. They will go with the draft constitution for each and every community. Mm -hmm. Tell them about the draft constitution. This is what is inscribed in the draft constitution. Yeah. Just like what they did when they were collecting the information from the information people. Information from yeah. the people. So that should be done. There should be because uh, not a lot of people understand the draft constitution. Mm -hmm. I can tell you for a fact that if the population of this country is hundred, only ninety three. percent only 93 people read the draft constitution maybe 10 read the constitution but look at the points that is that affect them yeah where the rest of the 60 percent don't even open the draft constitution i mean we have lawyers who do not even read the draft constitution <laughs> no. you know, so, 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 just <laughs> just about my grandma in silicon who got to yeah. read what did you know about the constitution so uh if the national assembly member of my constituency mm -hmm. go to selicate until if you look 
Ni draft constitution no constitution jaw ba jaal kana kay do fay. They will vote for it. So government should definitely I mean try to get NCC said the way yeah, NCC is a very well prepared but equally civil society. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah and that's where um, the role of everyone involved. In go- when government fail their responsibilities that's not the end. Um, because so long as the 1997 constitution is there the sovereignty of the people relies solely on the people and power belongs to the people. people. Thank so you very much. Uh, left for us. Oh, and thank you very much. This is very interesting. <laughs> I I always want uh, these type of things to be brought on the platform so that yeah. we can discuss on it. It's very educative. Like I myself learned a lot. I hope you viewers mm-hmm. you learned a lot. If you definitely want to learn more about the constitution and all legal issues, you can definitely check out um, Omar on his own show where he'll be educating everyone, youths and all of uh, the citizens of the Gambia about legal issues, constitution and all of that.